All right, guys, what is going on? AJ here from Atmosphere Tactics and Gear. We're gonna be uh, doing another unboxing of the uh, the Olight Odin. Um, we have done one of these already on the channel. Just wanted to make a, a short video here to do another unboxing. Just got another one of these in, and uh, got another PL Pro Valkyrie in as well. Um, the one difference with this one compared to the other one that we've done previously is that this one has a uh, Picatinny mount um, versus an M-Lock mount. Um, and this one here, well, this Odin that I'm gonna put on my Bryn. Uh, the other one I ended up putting on the Strybog. So, um, yeah, actually I'll grab that real quick. So here is our, uh, our other Odin. Um, this one is mounted on top of the Strybog. Uh, Works really, really well on this gun. It's got that pressure switch up top to actuate it, and it actually vibrates uh, when you um, interact with the pressure switch, just to make sure that you're engaging with that pressurized switch up top. So this one here mounts to an M-Lock. It's got an M-Lock mount on it, and the one that we're gonna be showing today uh, has the Picatinny mount. So super excited to do that. Uh, the reason I chose a Picatinny mount for the Bren was because actually on the Bren it has these M-Lock mounts however uh, it wasn't enough to mount the, um, the Olight mount to it it only has the one slot on the uh, the Bren here um, because this is a, a seven and a half inch barrel and this guy technically is a pistol I'm sure that you guys have seen this plenty of times on my channel uh, this is my baby right here and uh, it's been in plenty of videos. I have not done a full review on this guy yet, um, as far as you know, a full length review and reliability and all that stuff. But I would be more than happy to bring that to you as time goes on. That will be definitely coming uh, somewhere down the road here um, in the near future, I would say. But without further ado, guys, let's go ahead, get started. We're gonna go grab our uh, Olight Odin. This is uh, fresh in the package yet, so we're just gonna open that up. And you guys know how much I love Olights. Um, I was actually just talking to a good friend of mine earlier today about uh, flashlights and why I like Olight. And he was asking me about Surefire, and I don't have anything against Surefire at all. I think that it's a quality light. It's trusted by uh, military and law enforcement alike. Um, I just think pound for pound and bang for your buck you just get a heck of a lot more with an Olight and uh, once you have a, a decent plethora of some of these things laying around you have plenty of cords and charging connectors uh, for for uh, all your lights I mean I have Olight weapon lights I have Olight flashlights um, set for EDC all that stuff there if I can even figure out this is this must be a new box or something they're a new design of a box. I can't even figure out how to get this sucker open. Hold on, let me pause. I feel really dumb. But uh, yeah, this is a completely different box. They used to have them where you'd push the sleeve. It was like a sleeve, but now it's literally like a book. It's got a magnetic flap right there. This one is definitely different than the other one. They must have updated their boxes. As always, uh, Olight gives you a nice appreciation note um just for you know showing their gratitude on supporting uh olight and their company and then just a short congratulations and a little bit of a, a walk through just you know kind of before use we want to unscrew the tail cap remove the yellow insulin film um insulating film whatever uh and then you know just a few instructions on uh setup and all that as well so we're going to go ahead and take that insert out, and there is our new Odin, and oh my goodness, it is so beautiful. This is actually a steel gray. It's not really like a black. My other one, my other Odin, is a black. It's like jet black. This is a, this is almost like a dark steel gray, and look at that. Sorry, I bumped my camera there. That is just beautiful absolutely beautiful and uh yes yeah, so we have our picatinny mount here 
And it looks like if we turn this lever here, we can lock and unlock it. And how cool is that? So you can actually put this on uh, wherever you want it. And then you can, there's, if you want to run it up top here, you just slide the bracket of the light. Of course, if I can get in there, slide it up there if you want to run it up top. Or if you want to run it uh, more sideways, you just click that, uh, that lock in and then slide the bracket in sideways as well so however we want to run it here's the mount here's the light it literally comes off that quickly and here's your back button uh, right here so we'll go ahead and unscrew that back cap real quick uh, just get that off get that tab out so here's the yellow tab we literally just pull that guy out and deal with that later cap goes back on I think we press and hold. All right, I'm not entirely convinced that uh, they gave us a dead Olight, but we got it on the charger right now, right over yonder, this direction. So uh, we're just going to give that a minute, see what it does. These things typically charge pretty quick. But in the meantime, let's keep going through this box. Uh, so here we have a, a, some sort of a cardboard insert, and this is where the rest of our goodies are. Um, so this here is all your little accessories, your Allen key, probably your charger in here. Here is our pressure pad, which we're definitely going to be needing this, uh, especially for the Bren. I'm going to run this up top uh, without a doubt. That is uh, is going to be going on there. So, and then they actually give you a couple little mini zip ties, which is pretty convenient if you want to dress up your wires or they're getting in the way or whatever. Uh, usually the wire isn't too bad for me. It, uh, it stays out of my way. I kind of just tuck it and... Uh, keep it keep it fancy that way um this is just for your that little thing majiggy doohickey kind of just put this back in place here and for your tools guys are your little extras what they give you in the box here's your charger and let's see which one they gave us okay so they did give us a multi-functional charger um, this is able to charge any Olight. Uh, sometimes they give you just the 1A or the 1.5A or the 2A. Um, but depending on what you have, uh, you know, in this case, I really like that they gave us um, the all-in-one. This is the universal charger. Um, this will charge any Olight uh, from the factory. So, um, And then just a couple little tools. Got your Allen key, a couple extra uh, screws, it looks like, with some Loctite, some blue Loctite on them. Um, for uh, mounting purpose and all that. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that back up. Uh, this charger I'm just gonna leave in here right now because I've got plenty of these things hanging out. Um, so yeah, we'll just kind of tuck this back in the box nice and neat. For the meantime. And whenever I like to, uh, or whenever I get an Olight, I always kind of like to keep everything in its original box, minus the light, so we'll just keep the foam insert in there. Not that I have any intention of reselling it, it's just kind of more for like a me thing, because um, I have so many of these, and uh, some of them are different, some of them are the same, some of them are updated, older, newer, whatever. So, And again, you kind of had seen this in the beginning, but here are all the specs, just in case you had any interest. So, yeah, that is our Odin, and uh, while we're waiting for our light just to get a little more juice, I'm going to go ahead and get this set up on the Bren. So, for mounting it on the Bren, this seems a little bit of, uh, you know, working against ourselves here, um, because it's kind of ridiculous that I have to go this route, but the mount that Olight makes for their M-Lock stuff, um, it, on the Bren, I don't know if you can really see this, but it's a little canted. Uh, so it wasn't attaching all the way flush uh, to the M-Lock slot on the Bren. So what I have to do in order to bypass this, which I'm adding more metal, more accessory to my gun here, but I just grabbed a uh, little three-slot three uh, 1913 Picatinny mount um, that I'm going to mount right here to my Bren. I'll go ahead and speed that up, and then uh, I'm going to mount this on to the Picatinny mount. You want your light to be as far forward as possible so you're not having any um, shadow impeding your uh, your light's projectile, or projection, not projectile. But uh, yeah, the, the projection of your light, you don't want that to have any sort of um, impediment 
And this guy right here, I don't even know if impediment is a word or not, but hey, if it isn't, I just made it up, so that's totally cool. But anyways, for the pressure switch on the Picatinny, uh, this is all rubber. It's it well, it's not exactly rubber. It's it's kind of like a reinforced rubber almost with a little bit of polymer in there, I guess. I don't I don't know. But uh, yeah, for this guy, what we're gonna do is it's it's literally so easy. Uh, you just put it on one side, put it higher in on one side, and then just cuff it over onto the other side, and boom, your pressure switch is on. And you obviously want it to be somewhere where it's gonna be reachable for you. Um, I might have to bring that forward a little more because I like to go right here, so that's gonna be a little further back than. Uh, not prefer unless I'm mag welling. If I'm mag welling it, then it's gonna be fine because I can mag well right here. Charging handle does not reciprocate, so I can go right here all day long. And uh, yeah, I can go up here for a little more of a, a tighter shot, or if I have to go a little more accurate or whatever. All right, now for the uh, moment of truth. Let's see if our light is uh, all charged up and if it's gonna work. All right, moment of truth. I just cannot believe the color on that. It says it was supposed to be black, but that just, it looks like a really, really cool steel gray. I, I love that color. Way better than my other Odin, if you ask me. I think this one looks pretty fancy. And there we are. Sure as shit, I am surprised. My heart is uh, broken a little bit, because there is two modes, which is cool. Two brightness modes. Um, but yeah, I'm actually very surprised because usually uh olight will send you uh with a full battery that's that's kind of unheard of so we mount our our light to the mount by again remember we press that button right there and then we can go ahead turn that to lock it sorry i keep bumping my camera mount here but uh yeah, i'll go ahead turn that knob right there now we're we're locked on the mount we take our switch back here, and this magnetizes, uh, actually, I can feel the magnetic uh, pulling to the back of the light right now. And then we just push that forward to lock that in place. And now, there we go. Pressure switch is active, and we are ready to rock uh, with our Olight Odin on the CZ brand. Definitely gotta say, Olight has done it again. They never cease to impress me um these guys are a great company backed by awesome products i there's a lot of other stuff out there i really like too you know obviously i, I have no hate on surefire i think i just think that surefire is a little more pricey um and uh you know i, I love streamlights as well streamlights are great their tlrs are, are amazing that's an awesome awesome lineup by streamlight um i am not sponsored by olight whatsoever i just really really love their products i think they make a, a top-notch quality product uh for a really good price so i hope this video was helpful for you guys if you guys do have any other questions please drop a comment um down below and uh if it was helpful for you if it gave you a, a better close-up or um answered some questions you might have got you closer into the detail of uh making a decision here on uh, picking an old light up go ahead toss that thumbs up button would really appreciate it until the next video guys you guys be safe be happy and be ready. All right, later on, y'all.